welcome to a new vlog. This time we are in Florida. You never really know where we're gonna be. <laughs> um, okay, we actually got here a few hours ago and we got up to a couple different things this afternoon, so I'll show that now. All right, we just actually went to this gallery right here, this art gallery. It's really cool because we ate at this uptown Eats place, which was delicious. Honestly, some of the best coffee I've had in a while. Um, it was a good coffee, also needed coffee. Yeah, <laughs> but we went to the art gallery next door, which is actually owned by the partner of who owns the cafe. So I love the LGBTQ scene here, obviously, look at that. But the art was really cool. So I think now we're just gonna drink our coffee hang out maybe we can walk around a little bit more but we're probably gonna go to our hotel soon yeah and now we are back at the hotel room sarah's freshening up a little bit and we are gonna go to um downtown st pete and we're actually gonna get some e-bikes hopefully we don't really know exactly where to get them but we're gonna hopefully find some and walk around kind of the main strip there's a lot of shops and restaurants and little places to stop in so we're gonna go over there um and we're also gonna get dinner there's a place that we can go get cocktails after so we have a cute little date evening in florida we actually were sent here by vspc which is visit st pete clearwater um and it's basically just right outside of tampa bay so we flew into tampa bay this morning and now we're exploring this little area and it's very cute i haven't been to tampa bay since i was a kid we actually came here what like when i was very young and we stayed in florida for a while um and it was very pretty and i hear the beaches and saint and clearwater are very nice so i'm very excited to see those again but anyway thanks to them for sending us here and showing some of their recommendations some of the lgbtq areas so here we go right, we're in this very nice little prius um one thing that i really love about saint pete so far is that it seems very like small and close together so you can get anywhere really quickly and there's parking just very easily accessible so we just got here in like three minutes we probably could have walked it from our hotel honestly yeah i um, feel like we might walk to get breakfast or something in the morning or like a yeah. coffee because it's so easy yeah um but we're gonna walk around this strip it's i think this is central avenue which is like kind of their main area it seems as though and there's a lot of different really cute shops it looks like there's um scooter rental so maybe sarah and i will do that otherwise i don't really see an e-bike um but they do have e-bikes so i will put information about that if you want because e-bikes are super fun sarah and i actually have one that i often forget that we have and we should use it more anyway let's go see what they have look what we found a huge rainbow crosswalk love to see it <laughs> all right we just went to inclusivity it's this place that actually has like a lgbtq gift shop in it but it also has like medical resources and stuff for our community so it's a really cool thing that they have here and they also have tea and like a little lounge area so definitely check out this place if you're here it's very cute look they have drag bingo how fun We have some dessert to take back to the hotel. Um, we had a little nightcap at this place called Cocktail. Everything's been delicious. Um, we're honestly very exhausted from traveling this morning. So we're gonna go back and have our cake and relax in our really cute hotel. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. We're getting ready to leave for another fun day of activities. <laughs> All right, today we're exploring Gulfport, which is, I think, just a town right outside of St. Petersburg, or maybe it's like technically a neighborhood. I'm not really sure, but it's this very beachy town and it's right next to the water, I think. So today we're kind of spending the day on the beach doing some things around here. We're about to go to brunch at this place called Stella's. Um, again, we see a lot of rainbow flags. There's a little bakery across the street that has rainbow cake. So the vibes are great. Sarah's putting sunscreen on. <laughs> We 
are about to have a little tour with some people from the tours on board. Um, they're gonna get some behind the scenes content and um, tell us about the area a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, we have been walking around with Rachel, perfect name, and Jimmy. And <laughs> We've been getting content walking around okay. Gulfport. It's so cute around here. There's so many LGBT owned um, businesses. We went to go get ice cream, but I wanted Rachel to tell all of you where her website is, what they do, because it's amazing. So my name is Rachel Cavallo. I own Outcoast.com, not to be confused with Outcast. <laughs> Um, so Outcoast.com, we specialize in, in promoting LGBT inclusive destinations and businesses in Florida. I say gay in Florida, 24-7, yes. 365 days a year. Yes. Um, and so we do a lot of content all over the state, just sharing the best places to visit, the prettiest places to visit, and some of the off the beaten path places that are really inclusive that nobody knows about. So that's what I do professionally. Yeah. And we have a YouTube channel called Outcoast TV and a lot of written content on our website. Yeah, I'll put their stuff below. I think what they're doing is incredible. People like Rachel need to exist. And I'm I'm very excited to see all the stuff we made today. Jimmy's over here getting some <laughs> BTS. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had a great day. What's been your favorite part of Gulfport? Ooh, you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> it's hard to pick a favorite. The ice hey. cream we had was really good though. Maybe I'd go with that. Yeah, I think that the, the casino was really cool. It's not actually a casino, but it's a very cool like photo spot in the middle of the town. When you say middle, yeah, the end. It's like an event space. They do a lot of events yeah. there. Um, they do several big balls there. They do uh, like Ooh, a, red, cool. a red, uh, I can't remember the name, but like, where everyone wears red outfits and dresses. It's kind of cool. That's cool. A lot of neat events here all year long. Um, and two pride. Two Pride yeah. festivals in Gulfport every that's, year. That's crazy. How but big they're gay Gulfport. all year long, so. Like, to have two Pride festivals, and it's, I mean, it's not a huge town or anything. It's that's a really town amazing. that's actually a spin-off of St. Pete, so it's actually part of St. Pete, but they have their own their own vibe here. Yeah. You know, it's, if it's, they, they say here, if it's too weird for Gulfport, it's too weird. I love that. So. <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys for showing us around. Bye. You're the best. <laughs> We're about to go to the shuffleboard place. It it's called cute. the Royal Palm. We actually have one of these in Chicago that's also called the Royal Palm. And apparently it was inspired by this one that's here. Yeah, the owners apparently inspired it in Chicago. The one in Chicago because it's very similar. But this one's actually fun because it's outside. So we're going to try to play. I don't think I'm good at this, but it'll be fun. <laughs> I just want to say that Rachel is cheating at I am, I am, I am um, not. He's not giving me my appropriate points. Just because I'm better at this video does not no, mean that I'm cheating. I only had one. Yes. Yes. Triangle. Okay, so wait. No, no so all of them were on the lines. And you pushed it away and pretended it wasn't All of them were on the lines. I don't believe you. I swear. Alright, that was so fun. We, um, I think I won, but also there may have been some foul play with the scoring. I don't think I did, but Sarah thinks I did. So if that's the case, we came pretty much tied. So good job, babe. Shuffleboard is actually really fun and I want to do it more. There's a location, like we said, in Chicago. So I think we should do that more. It'd be really fun. It's still very hot, <laughs> even though it's like 10 p.m. It's very hot. So now we are going to go to the speakeasy called The Saint, which is kind of like I don't know. It's like you confess your sin at the door. <laughs> it's like this whole thing. I don't really know how much we'll be able to film just because it's very like involved. Yeah, it's involved, but you also don't like, I don't really want to be filming in it just because it is supposed to be like a secret. You know how speakeasies are. So we'll see how it is. It's going to be really fun. And I'm really looking forward to tomorrow because we're going to kayak. And I love kayaking, so. Good morning, everybody. It's, what's today, is that Saturday? Yep. All right, we're heading out to breakfast, which is good, because I'm getting a little hungry. Last night, we 
had a lot of fun. We um, went to bed kind of as early as we could just so we could get a lot of rest because today we have some fun activities. Although Sarah did sleep wrong on her shoulder. So we're gonna be kayaking on a on a bum shoulder. I got an apple stuffed French toast and this is the thickest piece of bread it's I've cute. ever seen. <laughs> She's thick. Alright, this is the next stop going to the factory. It's apparently like this art immersive experience. Y'all, look at this. Lunchies. All right, we are now about to clear kayak. I'm so excited for this activity. It's just normal kayaking, but the kayaks are actually clear, so you can kind of like see underwater, which is really fun. Um, we've been just sitting in the car applying so much sunscreen. Sarah has her little swimsuit cover up on too, just to be extra safe because today the UV index is 11, which is extreme. I didn't even know it could get that high. So I know I didn't even know it got that high. To be yeah. honest with you, I'm concerned. <laughs> well, don't be concerned because now you're covered up. So it's gonna be so hot though. It's like 94, and I have this like long sleeve. I mean, the thing is, it's gonna be hot regardless. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, we want to really apply sunscreen because it's very high heat index and we're going to be out on a kayak. So I'm thinking after, um, after we kayak, we're probably going to really just stay in the shade, if not indoors, because it's like a hundred degrees out. So going to do that. I'm very, um, excited to see the water. All right, we are out here on our kayak. This is our first time using a clear kayak. You can see, you can like see the um, the seaweed and the fish and the jellyfish. It's really cool. So, having a great time. All right, so I found a really, well, I guess I found the you beginnings found of the big. shell and you dug it out with your toes. Look how pretty it is. It's someone, actually pink. Someone moved out of it. So it's it's fully open. There's no animal in it. You are allowed <laughs> to pick up the shells at this beach as long as there's no Yeah, she said to take whatever we want. So we're, we found a shell. That's so exciting. Not to brag, but Sarah and I are the first ones uh, out of our group to be where we're supposed to be. So <laughs> we're kind of just chilling. Well, it's pouring rain at dinner. So. <laughs> the St. Peter Clearwater team sent us this really cute bag up to our room. Look how cute this t-shirt is. It's so funny. Paris, London, Tokyo, St. Pete. And these really cute little beach towels. It's just me and a thousand of my closest friends. <laughs> you actually think there's a thousand? Like a hundred on each row or something? Yeah. yeah, maybe it is. Um, this museum is very cool. It's actually, it's like 15 bucks and I think it's definitely worth, worth the 15 bucks. Worth the 15 bucks. All right, it is time for us to head back to the airport and start our journey back home to Chicago, but we've had such a fun weekend here in St. Pete's. We just wanted to give a shout out to visit St. Pete's Clearwater for bringing us here and the awesome itinerary that they made for us. I had no idea that this town in Florida was such an LGBTQ town. There yeah. are so many LGBT owned businesses here, literally tons. And we say that coming from Chicago and a neighborhood in Chicago that has a lot of that. So definitely a great place to come uh, to support the community. You know, right now, I think a lot of people in our community are sometimes nervous about coming to Florida because they hear about all of the political things going on at the state level. But there are so many amazing people at kind of the grassroots level who are doing so much and who have really built an amazing inclusive space here. So really, really fun place to come visit. 
Also, it would be really fun for, like, a bachelorette party spot, Yeah, that's too. what I was going to say. It's, I would never have considered that. I feel like when you think of Florida, everyone goes to Miami for, like, bachelorette trips or, like, friend trips. But I honestly think this area is perfect because there's a lot of gay places to go to, like, bars and stuff like that for, like, a bachelorette party. But also, like, there's beaches. Gulfport was a really cute little town to go to that's right next to St. Pete. So, there's a lot to do. And, like, we went kayaking and there's act like activity type of stuff too but we loved our time here i think my favorite part was i loved the coffee at uptown eats that was definitely a highlight and then i loved kayaking a lot yeah kayaking was really cool um i will put their information below if you want to check out bspc they're very very great to work with they have a lot of like recommendations and stuff and also rachel's information for outcoast down below as well because she's doing amazing things in florida for our community so we love to see it definitely say gay in florida and that's that's all we have <laughs> we are very hot though so i'm excited to get back to maybe a little bit of a cooler summer <laughs> back in chicago but um we are also coming in there summer and if you come here i feel like florida is perfect when it's like winter time in other places because here it's always summer so yeah this is definitely off season yeah um, for tourism i just realized i'm still wearing my sticker from oh, the same. art gallery so anyway we hope you enjoyed um we are doing a lot of travel in the next like, year, so <laughs> expect a lot more travel vlogs, but also our wedding is soon. So there's just really fun content coming out, and I'm excited There's about a lot it. happening, so stay tuned. <laughs> oh, also, we got a new apartment. I don't think we told y'all that, so. Yeah, like I said, a, a lot, lot is happening. happening. So. <laughs> Bye.